Hello dear students I welcome you all for physics lecture so in today's video we will study your bsc second semester that is the continuation part of the dialectics okay already in a previous classes we studied the dialectic definition as well as the what polar and a non polar molecule so in today's video we will see the electric polarization okay we will study the electric polarization so see the dipole moment per unit volume of a substance is called electric polarization so electric polarization is nothing but what a dipole moment per unit volume what is the dipole moment dipole moment is nothing but what separation of a two opposite charges so here by the separation of the opposite charges what we are getting we are getting a what a a dipole moment that is per unit volume means net dipole moment we are getting here so that we can call this as a what a polarization so see here i will tell you how so suppose this is our polar molecule polar molecule means center of gravity is not coincide with the center of gravity of a negative charges or center of positive charges is not coinciding with the center of negative charges so such a molecule we can call this as a polar molecule non -mo non polar molecule is a position that is center of gravity is coincide with the center of gravity both opposite charges so see so this type of polar molecule if we are keeping in a parallel plate capacitor this is a negative charges and this is a positive charge so suppose we are keeping that a polar molecule in a parallel plate capacitor means what we are getting first they are randomly oriented by applying the electric field what happened they can be giving us a net charges or the net dipole moment so for this we can call this as a polarization okay so the polarization is nothing but what a dipole moment per unit volume of a substance is called a polarization next here the magnitude of the induced dipole moment p so here what is the p p is nothing but what a magnitude of the induced dipole moment next is found to be directly proportional to the magnitude of a electric field so here one more definition we can write for the polarization what is that p is directly proportional to e what is the p p is nothing but here induced dipole moment and that is directly proportional to the e what is the e e is nothing but a magnitude of electric field so we can write this as a induced dipole moment Mom, sorry induced dipole moment p is directly proportional to the e that is what a magnitude of electric field so p is directly proportional to e or we can write p is equal to alpha into e that is the one expression for the polarization so already we know that the definition what is the definition dipole so again the given one more definition of a p means polarization so p is defined as the product of a p the component of a dipole moment of each molecule in the field direction and the number of molecules per unit volume okay that is the field so here one more definition means here our product of p the component of dipole moment of each molecule in the field okay, this is the field direction and the number of molecule per unit volume so we can write this as a po polarization is nothing but n into p capital p equal to n into p so here small n and small p what is the small n small n is nothing but a number of molecules per unit volume and next p is nothing but what a product of the component of the dipole moment of each molecule next here the given the unit of dielectric polarization so the unit of dielectric polarization or the electric polarization is a meter per meter square either it may be meter or per meter square or one more coulomb per meter square okay this is the definition of the water 
polarization okay up to this we studied what are the polarization and their definition as well as the expression we'll move to the next so see here. relation between polarization vector and density of a polarization charges okay next we'll see the motor some relation is there for the polarization vector and the density of a polarization charges so here we should have to concentrate on a diagram and as well as we'll see the explanation so see here consider the dielectric slab of a length n so here two parallel plate capacitor is there we are keeping one a dielectric slab so the dielectric slab which have the length which has the length of l next here and the area of cross section already we know that the area is nothing but a so we can write the area of cross section is a a placed in a uniform electric field e so we are placing here one uniform electric field and call this as a e so first now l what is the l l is nothing but a length of a dielectric slab and second one is what a area of a cross section e is nothing but a uniform electric field next here the induced charges are developed on either side of a dielectric slab already we know that when we are keeping a dielectric in dielectric in between the two parallel plate capacitor the induced charges are developed so the induced charges are developed on either side of the what the dielectric slab next here let sigma p be the density of the polarization charges so here we are taking the sigma p the sigma p is nothing but what it is the density of the polarization charges on the surface of p the polarization vector in sigma p is nothing but a density of the charges of the polarization vector okay this is the explanation of this slide we'll move to the next uh, so see here up to this in slide we know the explanation of the diagram next here dipole moment of the slab we can write this as a in that this as a capital a so dipole moment of the slab we can write a p into a into l what is the p p is nothing but the polarization vector a is nothing but area l is nothing but length of the slab so here we are getting our equation number 1 next here consider the slab as a single large dipole with the charges qp equal to sigma p so whatever our slab is there that has a single large dipole so our take we are taking here one slab that slab has a what a single large dipole with the charge so we can write qp is equal to sigma p what is the qp charge of the polarization vector sigma p that is the density so as a separated by a distance here so here distance is a separate sorry area is separated by the length therefore we can write dipole moment is equal to charge into length okay so we can write a dipole moment is nothing but charge into length so here charge qp is equal to sigma p so here charge we can write this as a qp next the into length so length is nothing but area into length so we can write here a into l we can call this as a equation number 2 so here we will get our equation 1 as well as the equation 2 next we can write comparing equation 1 and 2 we are comparing here equation 1 and 2 next okay p a l equal to sigma p a l or p is equal to sigma p so here we are getting over the final answer that is the p equal to sigma p p is nothing but what uh? that is the polarization vector sigma p is nothing but what uh? density of the charges with respect to polarization vector so here we proved the relation okay so we'll continue this in a next class okay thank you